What's going on folks? Hey, thanks for everybody for asking. Steve is doing great. He's laying right here beside me. He is doing well enough that I'm actually having to remind him that he's hurt instead of making him feel better at this point because he's ready to go. He's growling at the mailman. He's doing all the stuff. So thanks for everybody that check in. If you don't know, Steve got hit by a car uh, a couple weeks ago and man, the community came together. We got him patched up. Thanks, Texas A&M. Uh, looks like we are on the road to the mend. Now, as promised on the Bite Me podcast and even stuff I, I see over Facebook questions I get, the big questions right now have a lot to do with tides, what's going on with them. And I get a lot of, well, we went down there and the tide tables, they said it was gonna be this and it wasn't. It wasn't even close. I had to go do something else. Well, there's websites out there that make this very simple and very easy for you. That's what we're gonna go over today. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be simple, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be something that you need to know. All right, quick and easy here. What I'm using are the NOAA websites. They give you a lot of information. They're fairly easy to use, but at the same time, if you don't really know how to navigate them, they can be a little bit more um, confusing to use. There's no doubt about it. Whenever I first started using them, I was like, man, there's a lot going on here, and I'm not real sure what to do with it. So I'm gonna put the link in the description below of the website, go click on it, start from there. So what we do is we get into this website, and from the, it'll give you all of our states in the United States. I use Texas and Louisiana, so I'm, I'm not really into all of it. So we go down, we select Texas. Now there's some states for some reason you select, like Louisiana, you select it and you have to select it again. I don't know why, there's no rhyme or reason, but you have to select it twice. So let's go down and for fun, let's go to Galveston Bay and we're gonna click on the Eagle Point Station. Now, what you're gonna see here are your tide predictions. These are the things that people say, man, instead of supposed to be this, it wasn't anywhere near that. And quite often that's true. All it's just predicting. That is it. It doesn't it doesn't know what weather's coming. It doesn't know anything else, just predictions. So to fix that, what we do is we scroll on down and we click on water levels. Now that's gonna load in, and now you're gonna get two lines on it. The red line is the actuals. The blue line is the prediction. So as you can see, there is no doubt that it is way different one from the other. So you can even click on it here. Let's go to the, let's go to the peak right here. And it's showing me that the predictions are 0.87 feet at high, but the preliminary, which is the actuals, is 1.57 feet. So the foot is, the tide is a foot and a half above normal. Then you go to the lows. And now the, the low tide is still 1.18 over normal, where the prediction was supposed to be just about half a foot over normal. And this is something that I, I look at it every morning when I'm guiding, whenever I am tournament fishing, even whenever I'm not on the water, I'm still checking and I'm looking at it. Now, one thing you can use to learn from this while you're at your office, you've heard me talk about this a million times on Bite Me. One of the things you can do is, so we're gonna scroll down here. We see, well, we see that the, we see that the, the tide is high. It's a foot and a half high on average. It's, it's way up there. Why would it be way up there? So let's find stuff that correlates here. So we're gonna go to the top. We're gonna click on meteorolo mete meteorological observations. Now it's showing us the wind right now. And you can take your thumbs and kind of scroll and, and, and zoom it out. Now it's showing us that the wind is blowing south, southeast, 13.02 knots, gusting to 14 and a half knots. So we can start learning that whenever the wind is blowing harder out of the east or the southeast, that that is what brings those tides up. So if you wanna know what it is that drops the tides in your area, this is a website you can check every day. And whenever you see it, for my instance in my area, when it's gusting out of the west or northwest, you'll see that tide start dropping and, and, and going down. And this is, this is real time information. So you can see everything that it's doing with the wind. These are ways you can learn without being on the water. You scroll down, you've got your air temperature, you've got your barometric pressure. Some stations will give you water temperature. Uh, and then a, another little, a little hack here, and this is what I do. Again, I go to water levels. You can click down here on this little square, and then you can say add to home screen and you can put a, a tab on your home screen. When you click it, 
and it goes straight to your home stations. It goes straight to what you wanna know and you don't have to click through all this every time. That's how I have Matagorda set up. I click on it, boom, I've got my water levels right there, right away. Another really cool thing of this that this website can do is it can actually give me dates. So I always talk about, I wanna know what the tide did for the last three days. So right now it's showing me April 27th and 28th. Let's see what it did on April 25th and 26th. So we're gonna fill those two boxes in. We're gonna go down, we're gonna hit plot and the blue button. And it is going to give me, you'll see right up here above it, it's going to give me the 25th and the 26th so I can see that it was it was almost three feet above normal, then back up to almost three feet above normal, and now it's falling back down. So if I wanna look all the way from the 26th until today, I can hit that, plot it out. Now it's showing me that it was really, really high, and now it's just, you know, your, your normal summertime high. So this is a this is a website mm -hmm. that will just open all kinds of doors, all kinds of just opportunities for you to learn while you're not on the water, to know what to expect when you get there, to know, hey, I'm, I'm leaving the dock in an hour. Am I gonna be able to get into that back lake? Is it gonna be too shallow for me to fish that cove? This is stuff that we pay attention to every day as fishing guides and as tournament fishermen. So quick and easy, I hope this helps you out. Again, the link's gonna be in, down below and we will catch you on the next one.